It's this Pan Eagle song. Go by many other names, I guess. Here at the Pot Springs, Twin Rivers, at Wakuchi, overlooking the Pot Springs, letter to the Ekis and religionists, real legionists, and uh, others, any others, that will understand or be willing to listen and hear this park here and place has this beautiful springs springing up deep down, it's called the pot. Makes me think of the marijuana CBD turnaround that has happened recently. But also here in the real natural environment, I'm thinking about what we're doing to the environment and our perception and awareness of what true reality life is. So here, sitting by this great river, my estimation is there really isn't anything to estimate, just to be aware. Like the springs boiling up, although it's not a hot springs, it's cool. Temperature of the water, 65, 70, probably 70 normally. It's very, very nice. This is one an incredible place. Recently, they put in some stairs to walk into the steps, into the waters, and there's cave caverns all over and beneath here, going way back underneath. And it makes me think of getting to a deeper level of what life really is. This is what's been happening this year, 2020. Worldwide wake up call. It has much to do with letting go of all the old puka and ideas and historical traditions and religion, science, control, manipulation, and alienation. Isolation, morbidity, heaven can wait, ideologies. So I relate that here to the Ekinkar, which is had become a religion sometime after its inception. And, of course, the idea that it is actually in ages old is only to be true to the real that has always been. And doesn't need to codify and principle, laws, faith, belief system, authoritarian or saving grace, Guru Saint Mahantas. And the 
is a growing perception of the nowness, here-ness that always is. Beyond the creation, such as this beautiful river and springs and trees, forest, sky, earth and air, and the universes, including planes or levels and dimensions that stand between, so to speak, us and it. Here on the physical level, it can be just as beautiful as anywhere in the universe. Because the real is not a place. Heaven is not a goal, a space, or a time. Yet largely, these ideas have all been presented in some form to try and either metaphorically or literally speak about the true reality life is. And so, The ideas that we're coming upon now and the suppression of any of these ideas as well occurring this 2020 vision to present only because the, the old viewpoints and uh, consolidations of, and concreteness of certain values and perceptions, religious and governmental and business and international, races, sexes, all of those social culturals haven't got any grasp of this wholeness that's right here now. So we can be here and be present and be observant. At the same time, when that is, all is, is something that each becomes themselves, not needing really the teaching. or a formal education, or an elemental discovery, even as these may occur, and everything is perfectly fine as it is, still presenting this current affairs, lining with the uh, uncovery of what's going on with the certain religions and we'll use the Ekankar uh, which has had a uh, what they call a living Ekmaster for the past 40 years and actually this being an anniversary of such this man put forth the uh, teachings and his understandings and their value and perceptions which were broader in many ways to most other teachings and religions of the past. They would discard certain views and ideas and uh, visions, the past lives, dreams, and soul travels. Um, astral or mental um, uh, levels and this uh, other idea having to do with self and God realizations and reaching some peak of condition. 
all well and good yet. Now, this uh, leader is nursing home bound. And much like how he has lived, which is to be indoors constantly, almost in lockup because of his own, uh, let's say, partially vulnerabilities of health and, uh, and uh, physicality, but also the invasions of the environment by radiation, electromagnetics, chemicals, uh, food, pesticide, and uh, pollutions of the air, water, and the psychic environment naturally lead a highly sensitive individual to uh, want to secure themselves, avoid, and um, inabilities to traveling and, and being out in nature or in this among people. Um, so this is a, something that happens with many of the spiritual so-called leaders. And uh, this occurring now means that there is a, certainly a wind of change, which he himself would write about as a child in the wilderness in his titles, so that we could be aware of what might be needed to become aware. Still, at this point, the challenge is that it has not been able to prevent or to alter the ability of even the followers of these people to transcend or uh, become free of this creation and these uh, models of uh, what, they, what the Ekengar people call them lower planes, and largely uh, unable to actually uh, generate their own real experiences enough value of this to see. And hear and know, becoming really aware. It was once called path of total awareness. And it was once called science of soul travel, ancient science. And it's called the religion of the light and sound. Yeah. All of these things are values. The time comes to go beyond the at some way beyond the creation values that were presented and the limitations of such things like initiations and uh, contributions to the group, all of which, if any, has or will is, again, a progressive for that individual and uh, anything they may do or be aware of becomes inclusive with their own conditions or now passage, we'll say, beyond. But it's not a path. It's not a journey or an adventure exactly. It's not going from here to there. And this is a presentation model in such of this that it is not. Meanwhile, the religion has a hold on people, and they will not explore certain things because of the former presentation. And for instance, the most important one is this U, the sound, which is relative of the sound current. 
and to grasp that it may have been taken over and manipulated and used even for this human situation which is under certain psychic and even physical sensation manipulation tap lining soul taking soul disparagement restrictions and distortions that have been inclusive in all religions because of the original history of man and this is an ongoing what they call a battle of survival the fact is it leads us to the true history which is of man originating from basically the Orion Queen and her sons who inhabited the physical uh, using the genetic structures to create man, reptilian, alien, hybrid, uh, slave labor race that they feed on by emotion, mentally or physically and use and have even used the development of man in this progress of control and domination. And this occurred many, many centuries, millennium ago originally, and is the history largely ignored or innocently misunderstood or ignorantly disposed of and is occurring now still very much actively currently in what's going on now today. This having to do with the virus and the COVID co-opted cocktail, electromagnetic media, business, organization, corporation, domination. These are all interrelated with the condition which many are starting to be aware of or presently concerned on or considering because it would be another natural outcrop but partially related to the control mechanism. They're using it as well. They're using the desire for freedom and uh, survival to manipulate and motivate and procure more controls and the diminution, diminution of man and all life, destructing the natural environment and at the same time this has certainly something to do clearly with the progress and the development not just of the real, natural, true living awareness, but also the spiritual evaluations and the physical means of life by which men and many wish to live by. This is a dual nature that is occurring naturally. think it's importantly related as an example this master of Ekankar bedridden or um, uh, 
in a nursing home condition and still holding on to his position because partially his wife is sharing this nursing home with him and she is the one who has been and has taken the leadership of the group for a good many years now, secretly. And the husband only a figurehead, mostly silent and not really present with the whole what's really going on. Therefore, we must be willing to acknowledge this change just the Eckenkar's group, or, but of all things. As an example, the first thing you think of is the lack of freedom and the mirror quality in some of all experience, such as this one where the bedridden or house-ridden person and all of the people now being suggested to stay at home and lock up and avoid nature and avoid each other. Naturally, the good part was we needed to be aware that everybody may be carrying some form of disease or some people will, and we do not want this to be a constant spread of flu of any kind uh, which can kill and does so on a regular basis and it seems like they have no real cures for it just vaccines which are actually delivery systems for allowing the same virus to exist and they don't even recognize the virus itself is something that you can naturally uh, create and is not a negative that creates harmful disease. But there is some form of a cocktail being created that has partially due, or maybe more than partially due, to electromagnetics, which in the short wave band, the 5G in particular, debilitates the immune system and keeps uh, the prevention of, of disease and, and hard effects of at, at would be not longer kept at bay. So this uh, worldwide pandemic is relative and it also relates to the other religions and their belief systems that are actually controlled systems of what we call the Kek, the Kalam God, the Space God, and the influence of uh, conditional manipulation and use of worship and uh, emotional uh, or m mental dominance this extremely unreliable context of belief which has nothing to do with actuality and these systems SSS SSS systems word does describe that variability of uh, the three levels here in this universe, the three dimensions here, and the three lower levels, the six planes, all of which are operative manipulations of the universal forces, good and bad polarities, what have you, not to diminish their beauty and wonder and value 
especially to the learning aspect of individuals and, and universal beings as well. So the river keeps flowing just like it does, and the stories will keep coming. But to this new, 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 which has to do with a new wave and the new now of the new universes, the new sound, the new light, the new earth, new man, and the new isness, we come to the one and only that matters, the isness all life is. Now it starts sounding religious, so I have to cut off and say that this would be the message shared to the Eckes and the religionists and the, those who could be aware or may be aware or becoming aware and wish to know without needing a regard of an affiliation or population, actually, of existing understandings, that it really is just like the river flowing and the spring bubbling up and the ocean awaiting some hundred miles down the river. This spectacular place describes it. Seeing the stick flowing down the river there. And you wonder, is it a snake? Is it just a tree limb? Is it a symbol of something more? Is it taking this message all the way down to the ocean? Same way of looking at it. After a while you go, it just is. And the bird, my friend, that flew, just flew me, said, there you go. And thank you very much for this part one. The exegesis.